girl keeps getting in trouble in class, then mom sees teacher's report. The bottle of pills smashed into the wall as they ripped the teacher's angry note to shreds. She knew her daughter was far from being a troublemaker. Luckily for her, a simple computer test would show them all what she already knew and prove them wrong. Life hadn't at all been easy on Nauli Sanchez and her family. They lived in a low-income area. This meant that they had few choices when it came to employment and schooling. What worried Nauli the most was her young daughter, Adhara. When Adhara was only three years old, Nauli and her husband discovered something strange about her. Nauli paid attention to everything about her baby daughter, as most mothers do. She spent many nights laying in her bed and thinking about the small differences in behavior between Adhara and other children her age. Once they took her to a doctor, they discovered the truth. Adhara had Asperger's syndrome. Nauli sat in the living room, holding her baby girl, and trying not to cry. It wasn't the diagnosis that she feared. It was how the rest of the world was going to treat Adhara. Starting school was just as bad as she had foreseen. Nearly every day, kids would call her cruel names. And by the time she came home, Adhara had puffy, red eyes from crying so much. Nauli watched in devastation as her baby girl slipped into a deep depression. Nauli's husband noticed it too. It wasn't fair. At seven years old, children should be loving life, but Adhara was hating it. Her teacher would often send angry notes home with Adhara. She would complain that Adhara wasn't paying attention in class. It made her parents sick to their stomach. It got even worse when her teacher decided to send another note, this time, the note mentioned an unexpected action that they had never heard of before. On a daily basis, Adhara would fall asleep in class. When Nauli asked her why she was sleeping in class, she would simply shrug. They wanted to understand what was going on. They asked her teacher to set up a camera in class, but the results were not what they expected. It started when Ahara would swing her legs back and forth at her desk, while fidgeting. She would then blankly stare into space and would only snap back to reality when her teacher would angrily demand that she pay attention. Was her medication not doing its job? Pharmacists at their local CVS told them that the meds should be working. Something was off. Adhara sat on her mother's lap as she re-watched the video. She finally got some answers while watching a lesson on numbers. Adhara sighed as her mother watched the video, her small hands now tracing along her mother's arm. It was like she was writing something with her fingers. What are you doing? Her mother asked. Numbers. She shrugged. Nauli thought that maybe Adhara did know what was happening at school, but maybe things weren't being taught in a way that she could process them correctly. It was when she handed Adhara a piece of paper and a pen that the surprising truth revealed itself. Those weren't the numbers her teacher had been teaching her on the board. Nauli immediately started typing on her laptop and clicked on the first site that appeared from her query. This interested Adhara as she took the mouse and keyboard from her mother and started zooming through the questions like they were a piece of cake. When the result of the test popped up on the screen, Nauli's eyes widened. Adhara wasn't acting this way in class because she was bad or because of her syndrome, she was bored because her IQ was super high. Nauli knew what she had to do next, she had to get a proper test done to get the final number. Adhara sat at the testing desk, flipping through the pages like someone famished for a challenge. Even the testers that were overseeing everything looked on with wide eyes and stunned expressions. But it was the final number that would blow everyone away. Adhara had an IQ of 162. But what did that mean compared to other gifted people? Well, Albert Einstein and Stephen Hawking both had an IQ of 160. Their little girl was a genius. She didn't need medication or a stricter hand. She just needed something to match how smart she was. It wasn't long until the world found out and the Sanchez family were in the spotlight. Adhara soared through high school by the time she turned eight. It was like life had waved a magic wand and made the depression disappear. Nauli finally could cry tears of joy instead of misery on behalf of her girl's plight. But now there was also an immense sense of pride as Adhara tackled two degrees at the same time, one in industrial engineering and mathematics and one in systems engineering. But what was the girl's end goal? While some kids dream of being an astronaut, and then move on to other career ideas, Adhara had the brains and passion to become one. 
universities reach out and offered her scholarships, countries invited her to visit their science and space programs. She even gave a TED talk about her plans for future space study. Now Lee and her husband watched with beaming smiles as their little girl stood on stage and talked about black holes, mirror theory, and traveling to distant planets. She also revealed her plans for coming inventions, including a smart watch to help parents with children with special needs. And to think, the first school was angry because she wouldn't answer what 5x5 was.